What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another video. Now, I've been sent a product that I wanna show you guys. This is the Rockspace AC1200 extender. Now this is for someone that has a router that they love, right? And they just wanna get a little more range to some areas in their house that don't have as strong of a Wi-Fi. Now what's great about this, it's very easy to connect to your existing router, simple. You connect it to your existing router and this will extend the signal that it's getting towards other devices in the area. So say if you have like a garage or if you have somewhere outside in the patio or you got a bedroom in the far corner that you just wanna get a little more Wi-Fi to, this is something that's gonna do for you. Very inexpensive, under 50 bucks, easy to set up. We're gonna unbox this, show you what's inside, connect it and show you if it does its thing, all right? So without further ado, let's look at a few screenshots. Now we have the Amazon link here, which has over a thousand five-star reviews. So it's a really good device, people like it. So basically what's gonna do for you, it's gonna boost your signal. Now this does 2.4 and five gigahertz, about 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 and about 800 or so on the 5G, okay? So um, you're gonna get full coverage with this. What's great about this, it also has a, an ethernet port in the bottom. It's a gigabit ethernet port. Now what's good about that is if say you have a, a hardwire connection you need and somewhere else in your house and you want to connect it to like say a console or uh, you know something else you know a streaming device or a tv or something you can plug it in directly into the wi-fi uh, extender um, that way you're gonna get a little more direct connection to it which is good or if you have multiple devices in that room you want to connect to you can get a switch and then go from there as well to multiply because it only gives you one port on this okay so like i said before a quick and easy setup you can do this on your phone through a web browser or your computer web browser, or you can go through a WPS. It's a small button on the, on the actual extender and there on your router itself, there's a WPS button on your router. You just press them both and they'll link together and that way they can communicate pretty easy that way. So looking at the picture here, 1200 megabits. That's the combined bandwidth of both bands, okay? Now it's got um, a signal, uh, a signal uh, indicator on it, a WPS indicator and a power indicator. Um, so those are the lights going to tell you if it's on or not. Now, when you're looking at the whole home coverage, you see a picture here where you have your Wi-Fi, your router, I'm sorry, your router in one part of the house and you put the extender in, in, in another part of the house and it's, it's going to extend the Wi-Fi signal further into your home. Now, it's got an easy one button setup, right? WPS on your router, WPS on the extender linked together. It's also great about this is it it's also supports re-extension. So you can add up to two to three more of these and um, continue it in, uh, throughout your home, which is nice too, because it kind of piggybacks off each other. Kind of like a node system, sort of. This also works through walls, which is good. So if you have a, a brick wall or whatnot, it'll still go through that, which is good. So basically it's gonna provide a better wireless performance for multiple devices for multiple family members, which is good. Now we scroll down the website here. Very nice stuff. Got a light indicator to tell you if it's a good connection where your router is. Now it tells you here, when you set this up, you don't want to put the extender too far away where it doesn't have a strong enough signal to piggyback off your router signal. So you want to put it in, in the between area, that way it catches your router Wi-Fi and extends it from there, okay? That's just the diagram right here. All right, guys, well, without further ado, let's unbox this, see what's inside, and then uh, let's get it connected. All right, let's get it. So here is the device itself. Rockspace AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi repeater. Easy setup. Picture of the back here. So it tells you that, you know, you want to put this in between the Wi-Fi signal of your main router and extend, extend that uh, signal throughout your home in the desired location. High speed simultaneous dual band, Wi Fi for better signal. It's got a couple antennas, it's got the Ethernet port. All right, let's get this unboxed and see what's inside. You know what time it is, guys. Black pin. All right, let's get this unboxed here. Looks like the back. Okay, what we got? Boom! There you 
go. So imagine just flip up these antennas. Very cool. Nice solid, solid compact design here. There's your ethernet port in the bottom. You got your reset button here as well. This is gonna be your signal indicator. You wanna look for a blue light because that'll give you, uh, that means it's a strong signal. WPS button will just go on once when you're linking it to your router, then it'll disappear. And of course, power is always there. There's your WPS button. And uh, that's about it. Plug it into your wall outlet and boom, boom, boom. Okay, what else we got? Most likely it's the power cord, instruction manual. Power cord, it is a power cord. Ugh. All right, so this is your quick install guide here. This is gonna tell you exactly how to connect it to your existing router. Okay, what we got? So your power on repeater, we're gonna extend the uh, network. So you wanna choose your existing one, put in your password there, or you can go to the, uh, the browser webpage, go from there. Relocate the repeater for better performance. Plug in the repeater in the uh, outlet halfway between the router and Wi-Fi dead zone. Yep. And then the other, re the other way to connect it is through the uh, WPS. So basically you hold the WPS button down until it's solid blue. And then you press the WPS button on your main router. And then in a couple minutes they'll link together. Relocate repeater just in case, you know, if you need to move it closer, just, you know, to get that better signal, it can be a good idea. So blue is a good connection, red is a bad connection when you're setting it up. All right, guys, well, let's go um, put this in the location I'm looking for, and then we can uh, go through the setup process on my phone. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, guys, so we're gonna plug this into our outlet so what it recommends doing is plug it into the outlet near your router to get it uh, started up first. All right, so we're gonna plug this guy in. And then we're gonna get some lights here in a moment. Okay, power light's good. Okay, so now that it's solid, uh, we wanna look for the Rockspace extension, which is right here. So we're gonna connect to that. IP address. All right, connected. So now we want to go to web browser. All right, so you want to go to this IP address here, and that's the IP address of the actual Rockspace extension. So press enter. All right, so once you're here, you want to create your login and password. Okay, so once you make a password for it, then you wanna choose your existing network name. So your router will appear on the, on the Wi-Fi scan and just pick the one that you wanna use, whether it be the 2.4 or five, or you might just have one, one option, just pick that one. And then you wanna put in your password for your existing router. And then once you do that, it's gonna create your uh, network name with the underscore extension so you know that's the, the extender you're gonna connect to in the room in your house, okay? So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so once you put in your password for your network, extended successfully. So there's your two names for your extender. So the Monster Wireless X or extension, that's the 2.4, and then the other one is your 5G extension. So you know which one you wanna do. I'm gonna save that for future stuff there. And then now it says you wanna move the repeater halfway between your Wi-Fi router and the Wi-Fi dead zone. And then when you plug it in, you'll get a signal indicator. Blue is a good stuff, you know, red means you gotta move it closer to the Wi-Fi router. And then if you don't see a light at all, that means it's off. So right now we got a blue light. The top one is your signal indicator. So right now it's blue cause I'm, you know, down by the router. But I'm gonna unplug this, I'm gonna move it upstairs um, to the room I wanna put it in and hopefully uh, it'll stay blue and then we'll have a nice extension of the Wi-Fi upstairs. All right, let's get it. Okay, so I plugged it in all the way upstairs and I'm getting a nice blue signal light, so that's great. 
So now on my device, when I do a, a Wi-Fi scan, I get my main router down in the basement, and then I have my two external uh, bands here, 2.4 and 5. So right now, I'm getting about 130 megabits per second in the 5G. 195, 5G. Okay, now I'm gonna connect it to the extension. Or 5G, Let's double check. 195. Now I'm gonna go to the 5G extension. I'm gonna put in my password. All right, so now I'm connected to the, the 5G extension. And holy S, it just went up to 433 megabits per second off the extension. Wow. All right, guys, so there you have it. An incredible upgrade to your Wi-Fi range and signal strength. So when you plug it into your area, just make sure if this is not blue and if it's red, that means you got to move this closer to your router, a different outlet to get a little bit more boost in signal. But if it's blue, you're good to go. And if you want to get another one, you can just buy one another one and then link it to this one and then continue it on from there. Daisy chain it. Awesome. All right, guys, so we have the Ethernet cord connected. I have it going underneath the carpet. And we're going to my switch. And this is a standard uh, network switch. I'm going into port one from the extender and that gives me four extra ports for ethernet. And as you can see the, the green symbol for number one is on. So it's linked and ready to go. Awesome. Now if you wanna hook up the other way, the WPS way, you just hold the button down, hold the WPS button down, the WPS button will start flashing, that middle one. And then you go on your router, you look for the WPS button on your router, push that in, and then they'll both link together, and then that light will disappear, and then you'll be connected. Easy installation, guys. All right, guys, so that is the setup, and let me tell you guys, the speed boost that I got with this little guy upstairs in the office from what I had my router down here, wow, that's almost double the speed difference. So that's awesome. So. I'm in a two-story home, probably about uh, 30 feet, maybe 35 feet away, and I got uh, excellent signal from my router, about 35 to 40 feet away, so that's pretty awesome. So thumbs up for this, guys. If you need an extender for your existing router, you wanna get that dead spot, some Wi-Fi action, check this out. I'll leave a link in the description below on this product. Right now it's at 45.99. It's a dang good price for the speed you're getting and the improvement of this little guy. Very easy to install, took about five minutes. Simple, it was awesome. So without further ado guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, leave the string link in the description of course. So home theater rules guys, thanks for watching. You have a great day, take it easy.